Design team member for Stamp Anything. Welcome to a Fanny Friday on a Saturday. Hi. Hello. <laughs> a huge thank you to Kevin and Ann for allowing me to take some time off. Um, the last six months have probably been some of the hardest of my life. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I lost my grandmother. I got diagnosed with muscular dystrophy. I've had back issues and ended up in the emergency room. Like <laughs> It's been a rough six months. And I, I don't know about you, but when life is like that, I just can't create, which is very sad because card making, especially Christmas card making, is like my happy place. But when you're happy place, it doesn't make you happy. It's just, ugh. So I took some time away. I think I'm ready to be back. <laughs> I think I'm ready to be back. This January release is so much fun. Um, if you missed it, I am no longer doing the release videos. That's going to be Kevin and Ann, and I am happy to pass that along. So you're just going to see my face for Fanny Fridays and maybe some bonus videos here and there. So, some housekeeping. I promised you a giveaway when we got to 700, and you shall have one. So be sure to listen for the instructions um, in the video. I haven't done that voiceover yet, so I couldn't tell you where it's going to be. But I will talk about the giveaway in somewhere in the video. So make sure you pay attention for that. Um, anything else? Oh, this collection is live and I have all the supplies I use linked down below. So this is kind of an 80s music kind of thing. So we have Michael Jackson, we have Madonna, we have Prince. And then there's a special digital stamp of Tina Turner. So when I saw, <laughs> when I saw Michael Jackson, I wanted Thriller. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge Michael Jackson fan. Like I like some of his music, etc. But I I don't know why it popped in my head that I wanted to make him look like the zombie character in his thriller, uh, almost a commercial music video, and I wanted to make it a Valentine. <laughs> so that's what I have for you today. Um, this card, this card took me about three days to create and I told Kevin, I was like, listen, I, I need to upload this on Saturday. I probably should have uploaded it on Sunday, but I just, I'm like, I am so out of practice. I don't think I've made a card since like mid-November. So it's, and the video especially. So we have Michael Jackson in his thriller era for a Valentine's Day card. And honestly, I wanted it to say thrilled to be your lover or thrilled to be your boo, but it ended up just the simple sentiment that you guys saw probably in the thumbnail. So that is enough talkie talkie. Subscribe if you haven't already. Again, you can check out this release, um, sign up for Stamp Club. That is the easiest way and the best way to get um, all of the release at a discount plus discount on other things. Um, I saw an announcement in the Facebook group that there's a special bundle coming on the 2nd or announcement of a special bundle coming on February 2nd. So keep an eye out for that. All right. Forgive me for being rusty, but we're going to get there. So <laughs> again, pay attention for the giveaway. I will talk about it in the voiceover and let's head over to craft room. And, okay, let's head over to the craft table and we will get started. All right, friends, let's see how I do with this voiceover. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> so I went looking on the digital stamp area on the website because I knew that I wanted Michael to be in more of the costume that he was wearing in the music video and not so much how he's dressed as the stamp because as the stamp, I believe he's dressed like um, he would be in one of his later videos. And so I went and looked and Quinn, I believe it's Quinn from Guardians of the Galaxy, that was Anne's uh, character for the last year's love event. And it's still available. And I thought, perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to be coloring his, um, we're going to be doing some surgery. So his head is going to be uh, cut off his body, like a true zombie, I guess, and then put on the other the other uh, body. So for the coloring, I am using a BG99, BG93, and I think YG91. I will have all of the Copic colors listed down below. I went in and kind of put in some shadows. Like he, he had a very pronounced brow, and that's what the lines are for. Then he had very gaunt cheekbones. That's what the lights kind of underneath <laughs> lights lines underneath the eyes are for to kind of giving that kind of gaunt appearance. And then I started with the darkest color and then I just kind of went over it with these lighter colors. 
And I love how this turned out. <laughs> I was a little iffy at first. I'm like, okay, is am I really conveying what I wanted it to be? And I felt like I did as well as I could do on a two-dimensional, you know, like a flat object to make it a li- at least look a bit more two-dimensional. So, yeah. And for the hair, I just went ahead and dotted in um, some in some uh, neutral grays. I think I used eight, six, eight, and ten. Um, I used one hundred, and then I used some of the green to add a little bit of a green tinge to it. And I absolutely love how this turned out. Now I'm going to be cutting off that kind of little where his hair is long on the sides. We're going to completely cut that off. So um, I didn't color it, but here I'm just dotting in. You guys know that's that's really my favorite way to color kind of textured hair like this is to just dot it in. And you could leave some white if you wanted to, but um, I figured since it was like dark and he was supposed to be a little bit dirty because he's a zombie that we would just go all in. And I'm really happy with this card. Now, as I said in the intro, I really wanted this to be like thrilled to be your boo or thrilled to you know, be your lover or thrilled to love you. And you could probably add that on the inside if you wanted to. And in fact, I may, because like I said, this may end up being Rob's <laughs> Valentine's Day card. Bless his heart. He gives me a, a card every holiday and sometimes I forget. So I'll be a little ahead of schedule if I give him this one. And he loves shaker cards. He just thinks they're so much fun. So if you recreate this one, you'll have to let me know and tag me in it so I can see. And I know that, you know, Michael Jackson from Thriller, a zombie is not like, you know, it doesn't scream the love of your life. But I just think that this is a really fun and unexpected twist on this card. So this is a um, brush pen tip for the Micron um, pencils. Nope pens. I like to use that one to kind of add some darkness to back to the eye because I feel like sometimes um, it doesn't get inked up enough and that just kind of adds a bit more darkness to it and I think that really helped make it pop. So for this one, like I said, I believe this is the Gardens of the Galaxy guy. Don't quote me, you guys. I, I'm not a Marvel person. I'm not a comic book person. I used to watch, not watch, I used to read my brother's Wolverine um, and X-Men, but I haven't watched any of these movies, so I apologize. <laughs> don't, don't cancel me. I'm sorry. I honestly don't. I think the lo- last movie I actually saw was Moana. Like, I don't know if I've watched anything since then. I don't remember. So, but I do know that this character is wearing like a leather jacket and a white t-shirt and some jeans. And I just made it look like he was wearing the red suit from the music video. And then I'm going to bring that black marker back in to add some of the details on the coat, etc. So this is my favorite red combination. This is our 59, 46, and 35. And again, I will have these linked down below. I thought I was going to be able to use a gel pen, but I decided against it. And I'm just using that brush pen to just add some black accent and to, again, to kind of mimic um, the jacket he was wearing. And then for his shoes, in the music video, he has on his white socks. And so I just didn't color the entirety of the shoe. I left like a line um, to be his white sock. And I, you guys, I am so proud of this image. <laughs> I'm so proud. So I cut off his head, put it on the body, and then I'm going to cut out the body um, and go around it with a um, with a black marker. That's what I like to do when I am um, cutting out images. So I decided I want to make a shaker card, and we now sell shaker pouches, but I just I could not figure it out which was just a me thing, not a them thing. So I just went ahead and did an old school shaker card. <laughs> so this black and white pattern is from the Magical Celebrations um, box. The uh, It was the Disney themed grab and go box. This may still be available. If it is, I will link it down below. But um, so that's where I wanted black and white and red. Like I wanted to keep in that theme. And that's why it's also a little bit shiny because I believe this was printed on a laser printer when it was manufactured. And that's why it has a little bit of that sheen to it. And these are just foam squares that I picked up off Amazon. And I'm putting down um, two layers two times. So I've put two side by side and then I'm going to put them I'm going to go up with it 
and um, I don't normally do it this way. I normally would have put this on the uh, frame first, but again, out of practice. <laughs> So I am using some of the adornments from the shop. I used the red lips and then the red circle hearts. And then I just added in some leftover drills. Is that what they're called from diamond painting? Um, I think I've added in some white. And then I was going to add some seed beads, but I felt like I'd had enough. Then I took off the backer paper and I have put down a piece of acetate and I'm cutting that down. So this is just a piece of red cardstock and I'm going to make a frame for the shaker. And this is where I kind of did this backwards. And um, yeah, don't, I don't, don't I, I'm not going to suggest that you do it this way because I ended up having a white, <laughs> a white line of the adhesive that I had to cover up later um, down the road, but I just made a frame and I didn't want a huge one like, so I, I brought in a separate die to kind of make the interior of the frame because if I used the next die in this um, A2 card front die set from any, um, it would have been too small. You wouldn't have been able to see any of the shakers. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of a white border where you can see the adhesive. And initially I was going to keep it. I'm like, well, that just looks like white. And I was like, no. So I took another piece of this paper and cut it down in very, very thin strips. I think they were like an eighth of an inch. And I just went along the inside of the frame and covered up that white. So I didn't put that down, but there you go. Now, initially I was going to use the... Uh, tombstones from the uh, Beetlejuice release because I thought oh that would be fun you know it's supposed to be in a graveyard and blah 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 and I just felt like it was just taking up too much room plus they were the scale was off for me like I would want them to be smaller um, and I just and I could have cut them down like again hide science 2020 but I didn't so yeah and here I have some gooder paper. I'm going to be cutting out the, um, excuse me, the words love and then you out of this red glitter paper. Um, and then I was trying to decide if I was going to do this horizontally or if I was going to leave it vertically. And then I was like, well, let me cut out. Um, this is the love, the you, and then the back. So I had already cut out a couple of them. I used this pink. I thought I was going to go a different colorway and I decided against it. And here you can see that I've used that same paper to cover up um, the adhesive around it. So I am just running through the um, sentiment uh, through my um, switch. It's a switch. Sizzix switch. I think that's what it is. I don't remember you guys. <laughs> and I'm going to put this down on the uh, acetate and then I'm going to realize that I'm going to want somewhat of a drop shadow. So I'm going to cut these out again in black, but I'll show you that as soon as we get there. So why did I need this to be a Valentine's Day card? I don't know. It just popped in my head. <laughs> and if you've been here for a while, you know that that's how it goes. Okay. Before I forget for the giveaway, I want you to leave me a comment letting me know your favorite 80s either band or 80s song. I would love to know. Not going to lie, I grew up on country music. I lived in southern Oklahoma in the middle of nowhere. We had two stations and both of them played country. We, we may have had three and one of them played gospel. I don't remember. But I didn't grow up with like Madonna and them. I didn't. So uh, it's been an acquired taste um, going back. So I would love to know your um, your favorite 80s band or your favorite 80s, you know, song. Either one. This will be open internationally. You just leave me a comment. Make sure that you're subscribed and hopefully your sub, um, subscriptions are public so I can double check that. And also uh, it is open internationally. So I will leave this up for one week. So in the next Friday, Friday video, I will announce the winner. I'm going to use a random commenter generator, to, random comment generator to generate the winner. And I will film like screenshot that so you guys can see or screen record that so you can see it in action. And here I am adding the black kind of like drop shadow to it. And that just makes it stand out from the background. And that is kind of a hint for you, from me to you. You don't have to use black, but any color, if you're finding that it's kind of blending in with the background, just add a little bit of a drop shadow and that should make it so much better. And you can see here that it just stands out way more than it did before. 
so yeah so leave a comment with your favorite band 80s band 80s song it's up to you or your 80s band and your 80s song either one <laughs> Or your favorite Michael Jackson song. Whatever you want to do, just leave me a comment with that in the comments down below. Um, again, this will be open until next Friday. And I will draw the winner and we'll get this out to you. It in, again, it is open internationally. And it's just a little a little gift from me to you for thank you for all your support. Um, it's been slow growing. But I hope that with regular posting and you guys sharing us and sharing the love that we will continue to grow and maybe the next time we will hit a thousand and I have a really fun uh, giveaway plan for that already too. So <laughs> don't say that I'm not prepared. Okay, so for Michael, for um, adhesive, for the left side, the part that is going to be on the acetate, I'm adding um, pop dots. On the other side where he's going to be against the frame, I just added liquid glue because he's going to be flat on the frame, but he needs a little bit of on the left to kind of pop him up so he's even on both sides. So hopefully that makes sense and I'm just putting it back in. And then here's a finished look at the card. Isn't it so fun? I love him so much. <laughs> I think this is a really fun kind of unexpected card. And like I said, you know, you can add thrilled or thriller, thrilled to be your boo, thr thrilled to be your lover, you know, something like that. I think that would be really fun. So that's it, friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate, excuse me, appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Again, you can join Stamp Club and get this release. Um, all are part of it at a discount. You will also get discount on the next bundle that's coming up next month. So yeah. All right, friends, I will see you Friday in another Fanny Friday. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye for now. Bye.